have you ever opened your Instagram app and received a notification that your account has been suspended? Well, believe it or not, I know that feeling of a mini heart attack. But the good news is that there are ways you can get your account back only if you haven't done anything wrong. So my name is Mihal and in this video, I'm going to break down why Instagram bans your account even when you think you are playing by the rules. So firstly, I will tell you five common reasons why Instagram bans your account. Then I will tell you a step-by-step process of how you can appeal that ban. And lastly, I've got a smart solution for you that you can use to avoid future Instagram bans, especially if you run multiple Instagram accounts. So let's start with the most obvious question. Why Instagram bans your account in the first place? Okay, so the number one reason is guidelines violation. Instagram's community guidelines are very strict probably more than your primary school principal. And trust me, I'm not kidding. Instagram posts with hate speech, violence, misleading information, or even copyrighted music. All of that can get you banned, even if it was an honest mistake. And don't forget, if you're spamming emojis in the comments to boost engagement, according to Instagram, that's suspicious behavior. So yeah, you have to play it safe. Otherwise, Instagram will ban your account. Now, reason number two is using automation tools like crazy. I get it, manually liking and following takes forever. But if you're using third-party apps to do 500 actions a minute, Instagram will think you are a robot and ban your account. Auto DMs, mass follows, or bots promising 10k followers overnight, that's a sure shot way to say goodbye to your account. The reason number three is impersonation. If Instagram suspects you are pretending to be a celebrity, a brand, or literally anyone else, even as a parody, they will slam that ban hammer fast. But what if a hacker takes over your account and starts posting weird stuff? Well, Instagram will treat that as impersonation too. The reason number four, and this happens all the time on Instagram, are copyrights violation. Just because a song is trending does not mean you can use it in your reels. Even if you bought it, even if you filmed it, even if you saw 10 other people post it on Instagram, Instagram's copyright bots do not care. If it is not yours, it can get you in trouble. Reason number five is random or AI error. Honestly, sometimes Instagram just messes up. Their AI moderation system is not perfect, far from it. Sometimes a completely harmless post gets flagged for no good reason. Or worse, you get swept in a random ban wave, like the 2022 glitch where a lot of Instagram accounts were suspended overnight for literally nothing. And do you know what the most annoying and frustrating part is? Instagram will not even bother to explain what went wrong. You are just staring at that your account has been disabled screen with zero context, wondering what crime you committed in your sleep. Yes, it happens more often than you'd think. Now you know the common reasons why Instagram bans your account. But what if your account has already been suspended and how you can appeal that ban? Well, the first step that you should do is log in on your Instagram account and check if Instagram has provided any reason to ban your account. In either case, you will see an appeal button on that very window. You'll have to click on that appeal button as it will take you to an appeal form. In that appeal form, you, you have to provide information such as why you think your ban was a mistake and along with information uh, such as your uh, email address, your Instagram ID and more. Now, once you fill out all the information, you have to submit the appeal form. Once you submit the appeal form, the Instagram team will review your appeal and will reach you out through email. Now, if you haven't heard back from Instagram in a few days, it's time to take things outside the app. Head over to the Instagram help center and look for the form titled, my Instagram account was suspended. The process is basically the same, just on the website. But when you fill it out, don't rant or beg. Keep your tone calm and polite. A good explanation could sound something like this. Hi. I believe my account was suspended by mistake. I always try to follow Instagram's guidelines and would appreciate a second review. Thank you. Now, you don't need to write an essay. Just be clear, polite, and straight to the point. Think of it like messaging a support representative, not arguing in a comment section. Some users say this method gets a faster response. Others say it's a hit or a miss. But honestly, it only takes five minutes of your time. And if there's even a small chance it helps, it's worth trying. Now, as promised, I'm going to tell you how you can use Instagram without getting banned. And the answer is go login. Cologin is an anti-detect browser that allows you to run and manage multiple Instagram accounts without getting banned. Now, let's see how you can do that in the next section. Okay, so now in order to use Cologin, you first need to set up a Cologin account. So you have to go to the Cologin's website and sign up for your account. Once you sign up for the account, you will see a window like this. So these are all the browser profiles that I've created and these are different IP addresses assigned to these browser profiles. So uh, one thing to note here is that all the browser profiles will have different IP addresses. So the platform will not know that a single device is using them. So for example, in this example, uh, there are two TikTok profiles. Both of these TikTok profiles uh, have different IP addresses. So uh, now in order to create an Instagram uh, browser profile, uh, you need to click on add profile and uh, it will take you to a window like this. So first you should name your browser profile. In this case, uh, I am naming this profile as Instagram Mehal. Then you can uh, select a folder or create a new folder to organize things neatly. Uh, then you can go ahead uh, to the proxy section and uh, 
if you have your own proxy then you can uh, go to your proxy section and enter your proxy details like login password and ip address if you don't have your own proxy you can go to the go, go login proxy section and uh, select the type of proxy that you want to use so uh, residential proxies are proxies that imitate normal residential devices and mobile proxies are proxies that uh, imitate mobile devices that use the ip addresses of uh, mobile devices so uh, in this case i am setting up a mobile proxy so after selecting the type of proxy uh, select the country that you want to use an ip address of uh, in this case i am selecting united states and uh, after checking all these boxes uh, you can go ahead and check uh, if your proxy is working or not so check proxy and uh, yeah you can see that it is working fine now you can go ahead and click on create profile once you uh, click on create profile it will create a new browser profile for you as you can see here uh, once the profile is created you can go ahead and click on run and what uh, this will do is it, it is creating a new browser window for you so once it creates a new browser window for you you can go ahead and click on view and uh, once you click on view it will take you to a separate browser window where you can use uh, instagram now what you're seeing on your screen right now is a new browser window that we have just created now in order to open instagram through this browser window all you need to do is you need to go to the search bar and search instagram once you are on the instagram app you can um, enter your credentials and log into your instagram uh, account that is already existing or you can sign up for a new account uh, and by the way just like this you can uh, launch multiple browser profiles and manage multiple instagram accounts simultaneously without getting banned on the platform so that's how you use instagram without getting banned uh, and this was all from today's video i will see you in the next one